What is up guys? Today we are back with another video and in today's video we have something very special planned. Let's bring you over here and I'll show you. And if you come over here, we got the Umarex Gauntlet. Brand new power gun. We got the Umarex Gauntlet. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys the accuracy of the gun and the power because we're gonna take it hunting and go shoot some birds with it. But uh, we mounted a bipod on it yesterday, but we got it about a week ago and we are loving it. It's amazing, but yeah We're gonna first we're gonna shoot a target and show you guys the accuracy Then we're gonna go hunting with it. So we'll see you guys then Quick disclaimer before we get started all these birds were shot on agricultural So they did not need a permit to shoot also when you're shooting guns, make sure you have the proper gun safety. And I know this gun looks like a rifle, but it is an pellet gun. Just to let you guys know. So, let's get right into today's video. So, we're going to shoot five, five shots at 25 yards. We got target out there. If you're shooting the Premier Hollow Point pellets, 500. You get 500 of them for about $8. They're like the cheapest pellets out there. And 14, they're 14.3 grain. And they are a really good pellet for only $8 for 500 of them. You can go to any Walmart and get them. So that's the nice thing about the Premier uh, pellet. But now we're going to shoot five shots at the target. And here we are. Yeah, that was a good group. Go down. Let's go check it out. So that was five shots, aiming for the bullseye, and that is five shots, four shots, four shots in the same hole, and then one touching the four shots. So. That is the accuracy of the Umarex Gauntlet, and it is a really nice gun. It's very accurate, and it's a very nice gun. And if you're just getting in the PCP air guns like us, I would highly recommend the Umarex Gauntlet. Only $300. It's very hand pump friendly. That's what we do. But now that we know that it's dead on, now it's time to go kill some birds. They're both cowbirds. Uh, we're shooting the point. This is 22 cowbird. We're shooting the 22 cross centimeter, 14.3 grain. And I got both of them. About, about 10, no, about 20 yards. And they got the sight of that 25 yards. Yeah, here's the first one I shot. Mm -hmm. That one's 
one's stoned in, and another one's right behind Gage, but it's Gage's turn now, and we're gonna see if we can some more. Got one. Get your. You missed. Come on, hurry up. My turn. Actually, no, go again, go again. We don't have time to switch. Got it. On top of the roof. Gage just smoked two. Two in a row. There's one on top of the roof, which I don't think we'll be able to get. But. One did fall down. Right there it is. Ooh. That's a little bit bloody. I don't know if we'll be able to show that. And then there's one on top of the roof. Here, film me. I'm gonna jump. I think I can get it. I think I can get it if I jump. Ready? Yep. Got it. There's the one covered. This is the second one. He missed the first shot, but got the second one. And then the other one he killed was right over there. But it's a little bit bloody, so we can't show that. So now it's my turn. And let's see if we kill some more. Yep. I missed. I wish to buy a dog with Ready? Yep. Got him. Yeah, stay here. Got it. Barrel. We're still in the same spot where Gage killed his two cowbirds. But his land on the roof. Mine land on the power line. But, or power line. But I think that's the fifth bird of the day. So we're just getting started. So. Oh, I missed. I shot right underneath of him. So the starling I just said I missed. I think I hit him in the stomach and it flew up and it landed over here. And I think we got it. It was, it was a little further than what I thought it was. Male starling, really pretty, but they're really bad for fun. I hit it a little low, I hit it in the stomach. It jumped up, and I thought I shot underneath of it, but then it flew over here and it expired. Right when, I, right when I got there, it was dead, so. First starling of the day. We're gonna start heading after these more because they're more important to shoot because they do a lot of damage to a farm, so. See if we can get some more starlings. Go. Got him right on top of the roof. About, wait, I'm gonna range that here, guys. Hold the camera. That was a far shot. Let me range it. Headshot, too, he's still kicking. Thirty, forty yards, 36 yards. Hit him right in the head, where are you aiming? Right in the neck. Right in the neck. I think you hit it in the neck or head because it was still kicking it. So it's some nerves. That was a far shot. We're not gonna be able to get that bird. We'll let the cat beat that one. Well, that was a far shot. Good job. Now it's my turn. If there's a starling, we would have landed. Now it's my turn. Oh, I missed. The bi our bipod. It's not long enough, it only goes in here, and we're it's right, like, right underneath the power line, so I can't use the bipod to get in the power line, so Grant I Grant, wanna shoot that starling up there? Uh, no, that's too far. But, our bipod, not long enough, but, let's see if any more birds are. Got him. That time I got him. I'll go get him, he's taking me. The cats are on to it. This is a female crackle. 
This time I got him. Last time I shot freehanded. Oh, Sterling, get your Sterling. Get your Sterling. No, recock it. Gotta go back further. Yep. Okay, get on it. No, it's still there. It's still there. No, stop hopping. Got him. Go. Got him. Gage just got another one. He's sniping him. He got a starling on top of the roof, but it fell down. We're going to go get him off camera. Good. I killed three out of four shots. One starling, two calverts, and I missed the last calvert, but I got three out of four shots. Another cowbird. Right here. And, ooh, he's in the manure. And he's pretty bloody. We're not gonna kill that one, though. So I killed three. Three birds out of four shots in like, not even a minute, about 30 seconds. That's pretty good. Now it's your turn to kill some, Gage. Yeah. So, we are gonna film some more yesterday, but we got busy and we couldn't film the rest of the video. But that's gonna do it. And last night, I shot a 10 shot group at 50 yards with our pellet gun. And a picture will be popping up right there of what it was. It was a really good group. Eight shots and nine shots in the same hole, and then one to a little low. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we wanted to show you guys our new pellet gun and see the accuracy of it. It'll be linked down in the description below our whole setup, the gun the scope, the pellets we use, and everything. But if you're new, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.